points. From the second family, we take four prayer points. From the third family, we take two prayer points. Then from general, we are going to take six prayer points. So four, four, two, six. Now that's 16 prayer points that we are supposed to take in the service tonight. Hallelujah. I hope you were blessed on Sunday. Are you sure? I noticed that most of the women were angry. They left the service angrily because they believed that mama was too raw. I, I will message you when mama wa wa banye. You know, hey, uh, tea gong, who told me. Somebody sent a quote and I love it. I, I saved it on my phone. That it is only those that are living a lie that will be offended by the truth. That's just the truth. See, if message hits you, it's for you to change. Nobody is, the, the Bible is too big that we can now, that we now decide to say, let's prepare message to, to preach against one person. Ah. But she a bit in love. And what did she preach? She preached to us. Uh, the, uh, from the, you know, I preached to the men. She ministered to the women. That you must not be selfish. Once you are married, you have become what? One. Don't be thinking of me, myself, and I. My money. I want to build my own house. I want to buy my own land. Don't separate yourself from your husband. You were sent into his life to what? To help him. That's why, hear me, if you are, if you, uh, the, the young sisters hear me, don't marry a man you cannot help. Don't marry a man that you, uh, does not need your help. Because the ministry of a woman is the ministry of an, of an help to meet. If you are not fulfilling that ministry, you are not yet fulfilling your purpose as a woman. So, any women, use your hand to rub your stomach. Use your hand to rub your So, today let's look at three families. We are looking at the first one. I call it the prophet's family. Second Kings chapter 4, verse 1 to 7. Uh, that's that prophet that died. That's where we are taking our first set of prayer points from. Second Kings chapter 4 from verse 1 to verse 7. Now there uh, cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets unto Elisha, saying, Thus he talk, sorry, thy servant my husband is dead, and thou knowest that thy servants did fear the Lord, and, the, and pay attention to this, and the creditor is come to take unto my two sons to be bound men. Verse 2. And Elisha said unto her, what shall I do for thee? Tell me, what hast thou in thy house? And she said, thy handmaid hath not anything in the house save a pot of oil. Then he said, go borrow the vessels abroad of all thy neighbors. Even empty vessels borrow not a few. This thing of angdo, borrow not a few. And when thou art in, thou shalt shut the door upon thee and upon thy sons, and shall pour out all those vessels, and thou shalt set aside that which is full. Verse 5. So she went from him and shut the door upon her and upon her sons, and brought the vessels to her. And she poured out. Verse 6. And it came to pass when the vessels were full. That she said unto her sons, Bring me yet a vessel. And he said unto her, There is not a vessel more, and the oil stayed. Verse 7. Then she came and told the man of God, and he said, Go sell the oil and pay thy debt, and leave thou thy, and thy children on the rest. And leave thou and thy children on the rest. Praise the Lord. Now, looking at this family, you know what we are going to address from this family? We are going to pray against the spirit of debt and the spirit of poverty. Now, you are going to pray it away from your family. Now, those of you that are trusting God, you are going to get married very soon, be praying it in advance. That money will not be scarce in my family. See, after me, money will not be scarce in my family. Now, if money is scarce, there are so many things you will not be able to do. But before we begin to talk about the scarcity of money, now let's look at two or three points from that family. Let us first imagine how did that man come to that point where he was so much indebted 
that the Bible says the creditor decided to come to take their two sons as collateral, that is, as way of payment for the debts the man couldn't meet before he died. And you know, Mama was telling us on Sunday, I also told us in the second service, that one of the most important, most expensive institution to manage is called marriage. Marriage is not cheap. I'm not talking about wedding. I'm talking about maintaining marriage. Maintaining marriage is expensive. And you know, as the economy it is yeah, now, it is even more expensive now than our, when we started. I and somebody we were discussing yesterday, in Nigeria, Ibadan now, a Congo of rice is how much? It's for, uh, of uh, Gari is 400. Gari used to be the poor man's food before. A Congo of rice is how much now? One, three. A Congo of beans is what? One, four. So, <laughs> can you imagine? Now, and you know normally, if daddy and mommy decide to say, we are going to fast, we may not eat three square meals, you know that our children eat more than three. Now, apart from breakfast, they have the one they take at the middle. Abi? What do you call it? Brunch, okay. Abi, what's your English teacher? Thank you. Brunch, okay. Now, apart after that, they are preparing for lunch. Now, after lunch, they have another one. What do you call that one, too? Uh, okay, so she doesn't know. It's English. Food. Hallelujah. Before dinner. So, marriage is expensive. You know how much they sell clothes now? You know how much they pay rent? In fact, somebody was telling me that house rent too has gone very high now. Room and palace self contain 300. Now, can you see that marriage is expensive? That was why I told us on Sunday that you need to be a working man to have a smooth marriage because you have needs to meet. Now, and mama in our own case too made us understand that as a woman, you are the help meet. You are to also assist your husband. And she told us three ways by which you can assist your husband. She said, number one, you must make sure that as a woman, you don't put unnecessary prayer that can kill your husband upon him. Don't put prayer on him. Now, prayer of what? Don't, don't put pressure that is beyond his finance. He's, she said it on Sunday. He said, study his finance. Study his, uh, 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 his income and build your plan around it. Don't put load that is heavier than his, uh, his income upon him. Now, let's look at this family. Why did this prophet die untimely? Now, and if you look at from where we read, you will see that the wife didn't have job. Hello, am I communicating? It means that when that man was still alive, he was the only one working. He was the only one bringing money home. He was the only man, the man was the only person that was, because, look at when he was dead, there was no other person that could service the debt than for the person they were going to say, okay, madam, since you don't have work, that we can say less bargain, so that the money will be paid either monthly or according to how you collect your income. And we see that there's no property around. Let me take your two children, let them work for me. You know, it shows that the man was the only one working. Now, that was why he worked until he died. Now, this month of family, understand this. Every woman should understand that there is no place it is written in the scriptures that the woman should not walk. Kusi. There is no place it is written in the scriptures that the woman should just stay idle and the man will provide everything. Now, when the scripture says help to meet, there are several ways you can, you can explain that scriptures. Help him to meet. It means that the man has the vision. He knows the destination. It is your own assignment to assist in the best way you can that will make that destination easy for the man to take you and the children to. I pray in the name of Jesus there will not be any form of untimely death in any family in Jesus' name. So this man died. I wrote here, imagine, imagine what made him to die at that age. Imagine, I believe he must have died under prayer. Besetting for Jew. Could it want any cope? Who knows? It could be high blood pressure that killed the man. May you not lose your husband. So all the women that are here, understand that the way a man thinks. Now, if every man thinks like me, understand it, the way men think is different from the way women think. A good man does not want to see his family suffer. I'm telling you the truth. He may not see anything. But in his mind, he will be saying inside his mind, he will be thinking, me like conditions, the family me work. 
Real men, that's how they think. You may see us laughing, <laughs> you know, but in the innermost part, they don't like it. A man doesn't want to see his child being driven from school and he's coming back home and he's uh, Junior, why are you not in school? He said, uh, uh, Daddy, they sent us out. The man will not be happy. It's just that women quickly show it when they are not happy. But men, you see that it is inside of them. That's one of the things that must have killed this man. The depth was too much. That's why I want us to pick our prayers from it. You know, there are some families, people don't, okay, let me put it this way. People don't understand bills. Now, how much does the man uh, earn? He will pay Nepal bill. He will pay vigilante bill. He will pay house rent. He will put food at home. If the children fall sick, they will have to wait for demand. That's why I pray for every husband and wife here and to be. The Lord will give you understanding. Your family will enjoy covenant wealth. The spirit of poverty will not have a resting place. So this man died as a debtor. I wrote here, imagine if the woman sorry, did not arise, yes. Imagine if the woman did not arise to shout, Elijah the prophet, Shanufuwa, prophet, prophet, high pause. Can you see that? The woman rising was not on time. If she had done what she did after the death of her husband, when her husband was still alive, God would have intervened. That's why I see every wife that is here, no matter how bad you think your husband is, don't fold your arms to watch things spoil. God forbid, if a husband should die, you'll be shocked that people that are not up to your junior brother or sister will be toasting you. Most people, it is after the death of their husband. We had this uh, uh, um, caterers. They used to cook for us before. And there are three. It's a group of three, a company of three caterers. The three of them are widows. Now, one day we're now talking with them. Ah, one of them said, my husband. Pastor, it was when my husband died, I knew the stress my husband was going through. He said, I've never spoken with our landlord before all the years that my husband was alive. And I never saw landlord before. My husband will have paid rent. He said, whenever my husband is coming from work at night, we'll have bought the things that we all are going to eat. He said it was after his death, one day, I was waiting at the entrance to receive him to come from work. That something was done on her. So, my boy, she said she wept and wept and wept. Imagine if this woman had decided to support that man when he was alive. This same way, God would have intervened. That's why, as husband and wife, understand that it is important we come together. You see all this, uh, 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 my, I want to build my own house. Like today I was just thinking that when some women are saying, uh, no, 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 I cannot support my husband to buy land and build a house. I will build my own. Now, if you build your own and eventually you grow up, you will die. Abby, if you have a male child, is that child going to bear your own father's name? Answer me now. Answer me. No. That child will still bear the name of your husband. So, automatically, that property has returned. Property to be Kamoye, Abi, Taluma Padani, it is your son. And whose name does he bear? Answer me now. Your husband's name. Who eventually owns the property? Is it not your husband that it has returned to, even if he has died? That's why I do things together. When you do things together, it will be easy for both of you to live long. And if you notice that his, your spouse needs to be prayed for, eh, eh, he has some natures that may not allow you to do things together, that's when you need to be interceding for him. Let's look at prayer points from here. The first prayer point we're going to pray. You will see that this prophet did everything for them to succeed. They couldn't succeed. It shows that there was a spirit of poverty in their, in their family. Let's pray. Say after me. May the spirit of poverty and debt not succeed to operate in my family in the name of Jesus. When I, say stand, when I say pray, you stand up to pray. But listen to that prayer point. Upon all that man of God's efforts, the woman said, Sir, you know that my husband is the only man of God. Upon their efforts, they died poor and they died in the, he died as a debtor. So let's pray against the spirit of poverty. When you have access to provision as for in, in your family, you enjoy living together. 
Are we set to pray? Let's be on our feet. Say, are you set? May the spirit of poverty and depth not succeed to operate in my family. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice. Let's begin to pray about it. Let's begin to pray. Father Lord, I rebuke the spirit of depth. I rebuke the spirit of poverty. Lord, may it not succeed to operate in my family. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. My Lord, the spirit of poverty, the spirit of debt shall not succeed to operate in my family. In the name of Jesus, begin to tell the Lord. Re kadaba e mitunje e minta ngwe niyoshi uluwa e mi bese ma joshi ashe yori lati ma jobani ni dile me loru kodi oyak badura ba olorun soro. Lord, begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Ragada basen de leboj. Rangada basanda. Le goriara. The spirit of poverty and debt will not succeed. Will not succeed. Will not succeed. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. And amen. Number two says, May our efforts to be financially productive in our family not become fruitless. Now, say after me, May our efforts... To become financially productive in our family, not become fruitless. Now, which means, look at that case of that man. He borrowed money, yet nothing changed. Which means, I want us to pray. Are you sad? Say, my effort to become financially productive in our family may it not become fruitless. In the name of Jesus, shall we begin to pray. Father, may our effort, the effort of me, my wife, and my children to be financially productive, Lord, may it not be wasted in Jesus' name. Your children to are making efforts. That's why they are going to school. Begin to pray. Pray. Begin to pray. May our effort to God to become financially productive not be fruitless, Lord. In the name of Jesus, make it fruitful, God. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Begin to pray. Are you talking to the Lord? Are you talking to the Lord? Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed and amen. Let's be sharp, sharp because of time. Number three, you say I rebuke, say after me, the oppression of untimely death from my family. Now, even those of you that are here to be married, pray this prayer. Beloved, hear me. People that lose, lose their partners at the early stage and they eventually remarry, most of them used to regret because they discover that the first choice is the real person. That's why you must pray against the death of any partner. The Lord, I don't want to lose my wife. There are some things your wife can endure. A new person will never endure it. There are some things your husband can overlook. A new person will, will beat you for it. So you are going to pray. Say after me. I rebuke the oppression of untimely death from my family. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Pray for yourself. Pray for your children. Pray for your children to be. Pray for your husband to be. I rebuke untimely death for my family, Lord. In the name of Jesus, my wife will not die young, Lord. My children will not die. In the name of Jesus, even me myself will not die young, Lord. In the name of Jesus. I rebuke untimely death. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Are you praying? 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 Are you talking to the Lord? Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed and amen. Take the next one. Say my family. Sorry, sorry. Say may my family always have access to supernatural wisdom and intervention for success. Now look at the case of this family. The Bible says, and the man of God said, what do you have? Ah, she first said nothing. She said, we have oil. The man of God said, go and borrow vessels. That's supernatural wisdom. Now, be pointing it into the vessels 
as they were pouring it, it kept increasing. That's divine intervention. Your family will always have it. You know, when there is divine intervention, you will have help in season. What do I call it? You have help when you need it. Help in season. With divine intervention, you will have help when in season. Now, let us pray. Say after me, may my family always have access to supernatural wisdom and intervention for success in the name of Jesus. Shall we begin to pray? Let's begin to pray. Father, Lord, may my family always have access to supernatural wisdom and intervention for success, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. Re ba 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 santa yanga da ba ringo ya da ba santa ya da ba se shaga da ba se. May my family always have access, oh God, to supernatural wisdom and intervention for success, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed and amen. Take the last one before you sit down. Then we we'll look at the second family. See after me. Turn things around for good on every side. For my family, oh God. Turn things around for good on every side. For my family. Shall we begin to pray? Let's begin to pray. Father, turn things around for good on every side. For my family, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Father, turn things around for good. Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. Rakada barabaraba. Basandayaba. Turn things around for good, O oh God. For my family, O oh God. On every side. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Begin to ask for a turnaround. Positive turnaround. Positive turnaround. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. And amen. Now sit down, rest your back and your legs a bit. Let's look at the second family. Let's go to Genesis 25 and verse 28. Genesis 25 and verse 28. We are taking our prayers from the next family. This time we are looking at the family of Esau. Genesis, yes, thank you. It's there on screen. Look at this. Look at this family. The Bible says, And Isaac loved Esau because he did eat of his venison. But Rebekah loved who? Jacob. One family. It is one Rebecca that gave birth to two of them. But look at how their family is divided. Ah, may your family not be divided. The Bible says, and Isaac, their father, loved the first, the one that came, their twin, the one that came out first, Esau. Because the Bible says, he eats of his venison. Anytime, think about him, venison, what? You know Isaac, my man do. Who I love, eh? But Jacob was loved by his mom. You know why he was loved by his mom? If you read through, you will see that when the mother was pregnant of him, there was prophecy. Prophecy said, the one that comes second will be so great. His people will be so large. And the first one will serve him. Now, they now allow the devil to bring division. Hear me. One of the things that hinders progress is when there is division in a family. Ibiti, Jabawa, Oloruki, Simbe. If you go to Genesis chapter 1 verse 28, you will see that God did not bless them until they became them. He didn't bless one. Show me Genesis chapter 1 verse 28. Put it on screen. And God blessed them. The Bible did not say, and God blessed him. And God blessed her. Or it was when they came together. That's why if you are keeping malice with yourselves, the blessings of God cannot come. Because scripturally, the moment you are married, you become one. Look at that scripture. The Bible says, and God did what? And God blessed them. The blessing of every family is unto them, not unto him, not unto her. All this is what? In family, listen, I was watching one video. Somebody sent it online. This white couple have been married for 60 years. How many years? 60 years. They had six children. They have 15 grandchildren. And they have three great grandchildren. Now, you know what the man said? He said, For 60 years that we have been married, I made up my mind never to allow our conflict to go the next day. 
that no matter what misunderstanding, we set to it before going to bed. Because God will not release the blessing of the day until you are united. Now, if you read scriptures, you will see that this act, one love one, the other one love the other one. Do you know it caused enmity? The enmity is still there till today. The Edomites don't want to see the Israelites. Because they believe, after all, you are that despair. That's why you as the father too, make up your mind. Don't have a special child. Am I communicating? Don't have a special child. Don't say, I love this one more than this one. Love everybody equally. If you want the blessing of God to rest upon your family. Now, I'm not saying you cannot have misunderstanding as husband and wife. There could be arguments. There are arguments. Now, arguments and disagreements is the same. What we don't allow in Christian marriage is fight. A Christian should not be punching his wife. In fact, Bishop Oedipo said, the Bible says, husband and wife shall become one. Now, if the husband begins to beat his wife, it's equivalent to a man that stands up and begins to punch himself. Who do we call him? He's a madman. That's what, that's it. Because two becomes what? One. That's why don't, don't, don't welcome it. No matter your disagreement, you can disagree. But in your disagreements too, if you notice that the voice of one is high, let the voice of the other come down. Because see, marriage is not at all about winning argument. If you win, where will you celebrate your victory? Where will you take your Thanksgiving trophy to? Arguments here. Aluta continue le me oti reun. Like one of us, we always say, say my, she will always tell me that my husband doesn't have, say, Pastor, Papa, come you ni finishing. Beginning lo ni, but me ni finishing. To mba ti bere bae, e mi ama shin lo ni. On lo mare. There was one of our members we have those days. I don't want to mention his name because we're online. The day his, his daddy died, the daddy and the mom had misunderstanding, so they slept in separate rooms. The man had a heart attack in the night. Before they could hear him trying to knock, trying to, he was pulling, at first, pulling the sheet. He, 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 he tried to get to the door. Before they could get to him, he died in the room. But one little she effort, slatty jade. But your mommy knows, but mommy be no one and he died like that misunderstanding okay see if you can like i told you you can you can disagree because you are two trying to become one but in your disagreements you must always reach at one thing peace and i've told you if you are having misunderstanding don't look at the way Words are presented. Look at the point. Where is what is this person trying to drive at? Am I communicating? You try to look at where is this person going, not what is this person saying. Ibolun law. Ibiton law in any point to femuja de ibeniatimari message. I want us to pray. Let's pray against the spirit of division. Hallelujah. Now, all of you that are going to be married too very soon, pray against it in your marriage. In your home, there will not be war. In my land, I'm a Yoruba man. We used to say in Yoruba language, "Be all de obadun, kiloman chele silu, be be ni luri." Muti eko kono kiti ni yasi toilet ni ani rara o ilumanda be forest. Eji jelo ng beri ani be okobi onis wa Maria wa nyaba wa roke ewe lonely. Si all de obadun, and you know as as small as Marriage is. Marriage can make a giant to cry. A man will be crying and nobody is beating him. Let's pray. Prayer point number one under it. Say may the devil of division not succeed to cause division in my family. Okay? Satani iyapa 
Uluwa ma jo shi ashe ori lati mu iya pa wa ninu idilebe. Mi lo ni wa. Mi lo ni. There are some families, there are not many, but they don't talk to themselves. Egbo o fere abro. Abro o fere egbo. You know, there are some families too. Husband and wife, they don't want to see them. Every time is fight. I want us to pray against the spirit of division. Are we set? Let's be on our feet so that we can pray. Say, may the devil of division not succeed to cause division in my family. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Now, all the young people, pray it into your future. Lord, when I get married, oh God, the devil of division will not succeed to cause division in my home. In the name of Jesus, I shall enjoy perfect peace. Perfect peace in my marriage. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Perfect peace in my marriage, oh God. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Begin to pray. Talk to the Lord. Perfect peace on every side. Oh God, in Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. And amen. Quickly, there's no time. Say to I will not experience either partial or permanent divorce in the name of Jesus. You know what they call partial divorce? O Mari. O Kwewa Sofun Ekwe. O Mfe Wulosi America. O Wawa Nigeria. O Dumi Jekwe De. Partial divorce ni ye. Yanje. Hello. You cannot use money to do husband. You can't use money to do wife. I know of some people too. It is the wife that travel abroad. The husband is now waiting. My wife has traveled. She's sending dollars. That's not marriage. That's what I call partial divorce. Don't pray for such. I always tell our people. If you are dating somebody and the person says, I'm traveling, wait for me. Throw away his ring. Not in his presence. So by the time he left, he leaves. Throw it away. Fishu si no kwa ma wobe. Ishu to fishu no len to ti loye. Ma wobe in Nigeria. If you get better offer, you better marry. Otherwise, after seven years, they'll come back and tell you that, uh, name your bill. I will say to you. Because if somebody travel today, Hear me. And after three years, he's telling you he's coming back. He has gotten green card. It's a lie. He's married over there. They just want to use you as to be doing sex machine here in Nigeria. Reject every form of partial and permanent divorce. Say after me, I will not experience either partial or permanent divorce. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. Lord, I will not experience it. Either, either partial or permanent divorce in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray, begin to pray. Ah, every spirit of divorce, I rebuke you. You are not my portion in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed and amen. Quickly say after me, the seed of envy shall not find a place in my family. Do you know that there are some marriages where the husband envy the wife? There are some marriages like that where the wife envy her husband. You know what they call envy? When somebody is always wishing that the good things that come to the other person should have been coming to him. That's envy. Envy man grow. It is envy that gets to the point of hatred. Begin to pray. You say after me, the seed of envy shall not find a place in my family, O God, in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. Lord, even among my children, the spirit of envy, the seed of envy will not find a place in the name of Jesus. Between me and my wife, O God, may the seed of envy not find a place. Pray for yourself. Oh, yeah, pray. Emi, Lara, Olua, Irubi, Lara, in Jesus' name, we are prayed. Quickly, take the last one under it. Say after me that let this, the spirit of love take a very deep root in my family. Let's begin to pray. Spirit of love, spirit of love, take a very deep root. A deep root in my family. Lord, there shall be real love existing between me and my wife, me and my children, in the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Begin to ask for it. Begin to ask for it. 
le ba sata yara ti o ba si ife o lo le lomi se nfi ya wet abo mo sogun o so fun olorun let there be real love existing in my family lord in the name of jesus are you praying are you praying are you praying thank you father in jesus name we are prayed and amen sit down quickly let's look at the third family we have only two prayer points from it before we take the general now acts of apostles chapter 21 8 to 9. I saw this family and I loved it. Acts chapter 21, 8 to 9. It's the family of evangelist Philip. The Bible says he has four daughters and all of them are prophet prophetess. Look at this. And the next day, we, we that were of Paul's company departed and came unto Caesarea and we entered into the house of Philip, the evangelist, which was one of the seven and abode with him. Verse 9, we are bold with him, we stayed in his house. And the same man had how many? Four daughters, virgins, which did prophesy. Now, four daughters who did not defile themselves. Now, you are going to pray for your family. You say, let every member of my family know you and serve you, O oh God. Yes, my husband will know you. Do you know that you have security if you have a, a spouse that is serving God? Iwoti I'm telling you the fact. And Tia Wensi alone come on to The same thing. Your husband is serving God and you are calling him. But you can't do. Time to say, I'm going to do the same thing. I want to go. I'm going 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 to go. I know one family like that. I'm going to say, my tete tete, grade one. Oh, tete tete, if you go to Fibra, you are well, tete. You are well, like you are complete. Papa, I'm going to say, Pastor, I'm going to say, Papa, I'm going to say, Pastor, 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 I'm so the woman had to be saving her pants and her bra in her mother's house. See, one see alone, one complain. What's a question, Shash? She times to your care, well, in Ah, you want to hear a good man to you? Ah. My full couple, all I should be because we are online. I'm telling you, true life story. I, I cannot lie. True life story. Want to be more? Talk want to be money. And I'm sure we are going to buy a wallow. Talk want to buy a wallow money. At me a wallow. If you talk in it, want to buy a car? Want to buy anything? To buy greenly, unbelievable. Maje, masha, je, kude, jelly. Talk want to be more? Talk more love. I don't know that people used to be that rugged like that. Three days ago, one of the parents in our school at the level was telling me that when her sister wanted to travel out, they didn't get money. They took her for house help and collected three years' salary. One do matter, for ticket travel. Money she want to ah, only want to make and want to okay. You go, oh, to you don't send this own five thousand. I love Philip's family. Imagine I saw story. You know, I will tell you stories on Sunday. Sunday is stories. We'll tell you practical stories. And my mom will be telling you stories of families and what you should learn from. Mommy is a Sunday service. But from those stories too, I come back and I'm going to pray. Dear, dear, 
Let every member of my family know and serve you, O God. Are you said? Let's open our mouth and begin to pray. Oh, you'll be on your feet, be on your feet. Begin to pray. Pray for your husband. Pray for your wife. Pray for your children. Pray it in advance, young sister. Let every member of my family know you and serve you in the name of Jesus. Are you praying? Shagadaba. Every member of my family will know you. Will, they will serve you in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Let's 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 begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we are prayed. And amen. Quickly, take the last one under it. Say the devil of corruption shall not succeed to possess any member of my family. In the name of Jesus. Let's begin to pray. Pray against the devil of corruption. The devil of corruption will not succeed. To corrupt any member of my family, oh God. They will not possess my children. They will not possess my wife. They will not possess me, oh God. In the name of Jesus. No member of my family will be corrupt. Are you praying? Are you praying? Pray for yourself. Young brother that will be getting married, pray for your wife to be. Even if you have not met her, begin to pray. That the spirit of corruption will not possess her. Let's pray. Let's pray, let's pray, let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Oh yeah, sit down briefly, sit down briefly. Let's take this within the remaining time we have. We have six. I'll be praying these six very, very sharp. Now, this first one is for the singles. You are trusting God. You are not yet married. You have this prayer point. Judges 16. 4 to 6. Judges chapter 16, 4 to 6. May I not fall in love with my enemy, O God, in the name of Jesus. May I not fall in love with who? With my enemy. And it came to pass afterward that he loved a woman in the valley of Sorek, whose name was Delilah. Samson was in love. Verse 5 now. We are stopping at verse 6. And the Lord of the Philistines came up unto her and said unto her, Entice him and see wherein his great strength lies and by what means we may prevail against him that we may bind him to afflict him and we will give thee every one of us 1100 pieces of silver. We have heard that true love can never be bought with money. But for you to know that this one is not true love at all, Verse 6, and Delilah said to Samson, without argument, tell me, I pray thee, wherein thy great strength lie. Can you see? Could he fight for that love, Rara? Instantly. Eh? Now, quickly. Okay. Hold your prayer points, young ones. May I never fall in love with my enemy in the name of Jesus. Hold it. Let me give the marriage this one. Judges chapter 16, 1 to 3. 1 to 3. 1 to 3, 1 to 3, 16, 1 to 3. Let's go quickly. Then went Samson to Gaza and saw there an harlot and went in unto her. Can you imagine? What is the prayer we are going to pray? For we that are married, you say, I will not be possessed with the spirit of waywardness. Every one of us that is married, pray it for yourself. It's a strange spirit that makes people to begin to misbehave. I will not be possessed. With the spirit of waywardness. Are we set to pray? Open your mouth. Just remain on your seats. And let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray for ourselves. Father, I pray for myself in the name of Jesus. May I not be prepossessed. With the spirit of waywardness, O oh God. I will not be wayward. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. I shall not be wayward, O oh God. I will not be wayward, O oh God. I will not, I will not be wayward. Ah. Now pray for your spouse. Pray for your spouse too. Lord, my wife will not be wayward. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. And amen. Quickly, the, the next one. Uh, Judges chapter 15, 6 and 7. Write the prayer point down before they open it. I command every attack on my family to fail. 
Now look at this. And the Philistines said, who had done this? And they answered, Samson, the son-in-law of, of the Timnath, because he had given his wife and given her to his companion. And the Philistines came up and burnt her, imagine, and her father with fire. Because they wanted to attack Samson, they couldn't attack Samson, they attacked his wife and his father-in-law. The Bible says they burnt them alive. See after me, every attack on my family. Fail in the name of Jesus. Shall we begin to pray? Let's pray quickly. Command every attack on your family to fail. The wicked will not succeed to carry out their attack on my family, Lord. In the name of Jesus. If you are engaged, pray for your spouse. Every attack, your partner, pray for your partner. Every attack on my relationship. Fail in the name of Jesus. The devil will not succeed to carry out his attack on my family, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. And amen. We have three more quickly. Say after me, I receive divine wisdom to manage my life and my marriage well. In the name of Jesus. Let's say again, I receive divine wisdom. Listen, look up. Marriage is an institution. Only look born that if you manage it. There are times you will have abundance. You, can, you should manage it well. There are times there will be scarcity. You should be able to manage it well. In fact, hear me. There are some friends you don't need if you want to remain married. That's why every man that is here, if you notice some kind of friends that your wife is working with you don't like, tell her. If she doesn't agree, you know what you should do? Go to God and scatter them in the place of prayer. I want to reckon what? You know, Mama preached to us on, sun, on, sat, on Sunday. She said, and it's true, she used to tell me that, eh, how many? Eh, Simbaba won't, or let me, I won't come. Yeah, Pastor, no, let me know, me, ni one lady. I, I, I cannot give her all that she wants. Before she got to the point where she's paying her shop's fee by herself, she can manage her business by herself. It's not that she didn't ask me when we were just coming up. But I didn't have to give to her. I wanted to, but I didn't have. And instead of her to be fighting me, I wanted and you know, you women, you know that if you sit on a man's neck, eh, wani, you wow. Ah, oh my wow. Oh, wale waton, kukbe miye o, but oh my wow. Eh, ma joko ru, joko yen. Ma she oh my wow, fun eni okoni. Because tuba wadi levu kwen, yi wali oma lo gbe yin. Tori tuba di, bitu ma di, wansa onfe, oki ofe, ofe show, a ofe show, talo ni fe ju. That's where my joke See, I've handled three cases of people that want to do money ritual. That came to see me. One of them is a man, an evil man in our church. When they took him to where they would do money ritual for him, they told him that he should think twice before he enters the next stage. Because if he entered the next stage and he said he will not do it again, he will run mad. They now ask him, Who will you lay down? He said, Who would they ask? They told him, The person you love most. He said, It's my wife I love most. I'm telling you true life story. So it's my life, my wife I love most. He said, and that she will be the one you will use. That was how he ran back. He's a member of our church. Another one is an Ausa man. It was Safit that brought that guy to me. His own, he got to the last point. The man told him, you will use the person you love most. But he's not yet, he was not yet married. Who do you love most? He said, I love my daddy more than anything. They told him, it's your daddy we used. They were supposed to go on Monday. Safet invited him to church. He had me preaching. He was touched. He waited to see me after service. I talked with him. 
He said, sir, what do I do if that man call him? I said, when you get to that, if that man call you, tell him that your pastor said you should not do it. The man called him up. He, the man now told him that all these pastors are deceiving you. That's what they are doing. So you better come. He said, he now mentioned my name to the man. The man now left him. One shake. He said, you got him. The third one, too, it was one of our members about this one. This third one, yeah, two months ago, Loshele. Brother, I can't tell you, sister, I watch church. Upgrading, not before, for my love, upgrade the business. So, the law, my lunch, okay. So, first, soon, they want to read two sini, if it's on law. But, what they were, sister, I want to go to the law, one church. You are so come to the After service, once the law, you are to go to the law, you are going to go to the law, you are going to go to he now told me how he was to go for upgrading. So, my joke was a long I So, thank God that she didn't sit on my neck. That's why you see that her creative instincts was built up. You will get to where God is taking you. Say after me, I receive divine wisdom to manage my life and my, fam- and my marriage well. My family well. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray for yourself. Now those of you that are not yet married, begin to pray in advance. Wisdom to, marry- to manage marriage. Very well, O oh God. Father, release upon me. Let it be activated in my life. Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you talking to the Lord? Legada barabarabas. Shangada Baskinelebos. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we are prayed. We don't have all the time. Let's take this remaining two. Now, this one, you say, for the women, hear me. Wisdom of the virtuous woman be activated in my life now in Jesus' name. Now, for the men, hear me. Wisdom to be the husband of a virtuous woman be activated in my life. See, if you don't have truth for me on screen. Proverbs 31, 10, and 11. If you don't ask for wisdom to be the husband of a virtuous woman, you will be jealous of your wife. A virtuous woman is an industrious woman. A virtuous woman will have money in her hands. At times, even when you as a husband have need, there are several times my wife has, okay, only that thing that you want to do. Okay, okay, my son, the concern, there was a time where we had a wedding in the family. I didn't want to go. I've invested so much in you know, in fact, it was of recent. I didn't want to go. I told my wife, if I go for that wedding, man, no who extended family me. So the best thing is okay, me what can they send concurrency account on my my wife said you have to go. I said, Where will I go? This night. If I'm to travel tomorrow, I will need nothing less than thirty thousand naira to travel. She said, Is that all? I said yes. In the morning, she counted 30,000 and gave me. That's what it is to be a virtuous woman. But if, if you as a man don't ask for wisdom to be the husband of a virtuous woman, you'll be jealous. You'll be proud. You, and that pride will, want, will make you kill her being industrious. Okay. Okay. And see, you are not supposed to control a woman. You are supposed to lead her. You know what it means to control? It means that she's a dummy. She does not have her own brain. She does not have her own mindset. Yeah, you tell her, sit down, she must sit down. Jump up, she must jump up. Lie down, she must lie down. Don't eat, she will not eat. That's not how to lead. You know what it means to lead? If she has anything in mind, listen to her. Counsel her. Show her reasons why it may not be right. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now look at this virtuous woman. Show me quickly, quickly, quickly. I don't have all the time. Judge, uh, uh, Proverbs 31, 10, and 11. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. Yes, verse 11. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her. Can you see? Her husband trusts her so that he shall have no need of spoil. The man is not worried. The man knows that when there is opportunity, he can. There, I don't know. 
Can I lend half a million from you? Add it to the money I have for that land. She mo kiki she bubu bini ni oman so funke oya keru eku nle mi. Ki she bubu bini le ni lo kuni le ni boldness at sobe fun. But eku keru e nsi iwo go ni le so because iwo go mo ki contribution e ni nu le yena opo. So to ba ni keru e iwo gan ti bira ke iwo ni mufe ni koko mbe. She rufu le ni koko yoni. Abi boglari. Abi aluminium window. Abi rug. For opening to contribute to your life, it is easy for you to say, Madam, live my life. Live my life. It's a sign that she has not contributed anything. I think it was you, uh, you, you I was talking with yesterday. I was talking with him. I say, if you don't take care of your wife, eh, even God will be angry with you. Because he permitted me to share it. That's why I will share it. I, I also want to use the story on Sunday. It's part of the stories. For several years when they were struggling, it is this woman that was paying school fees. She will collect her salary. She will pay the school fee. She will buy the textbook. She will pay uniform. And he was telling me himself yesterday, he said, ah, Papa, my wife. I said, then what have you done for her? Have I said, go and do more. Even when he was sleeping in uh, where he was not supposed to sleep. This woman was there. When people will be coming, wherever, wherever, want to arrest him, this woman was there. So, kidney, what he was ready to take one care away. To the poor, Jemma, lesson. I wrote, Jemma, you take care of. She only did look over the duty. Oh, Tony, Rokua, she only did. You know, it's common in Yoruba land. If you try it in Igbo language, in Igbo land, everything your family collected, eh, you will return. Even the dowry, everything. That's why you see that in their dowry, they write umunne, umunna, that is it. The people of the town, the boys of the town collect part of the dowry. When my mom left my dad's house, they invited her from the village. My mom didn't go to the village until her parents died. Oh man, nobody. Hello, am I communicating? So, oh, wow, well, Lolly, you should pre- <laughs> register that in your spirit. Oti kowa. Oni ko she wudada. Ko to mu yon Lolly. Yes. You know, they ask, uh, uh, is it Rebecca? Let, the, the man was talking. Uh, Isaac's son, Isaac, wa- wait, let's ask her. Do you want to follow this man? And he said, yes, I want to follow him. Eh, eh. You remember that time that you left? It was arm robbers that beat her. I beg her, beg her on phone. Call her severally. Papa, I cannot come back. Papa, I cannot come back. The other day, arm robbers came. Because she was not supposed to be there. <laughs> Only Papa won't know me. <laughs> After the incident, the mother had to call her po. I don't want to run <laughs> Oh yeah, let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. Praise the Lord. Wisdom of the virtuous woman be activated in my life now in the name of Jesus. Then you'll be asking as a man, wisdom to be the husband of the virtuous woman. Lord, let it be activated in my life. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. We have one more prayer and we close. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Wisdom, oh God. Lord, to be the husband of the virtuous woman. Be activated in my life. Be activated in my life. Are you praying? Shagada baribos. Lingada basata yangada ba. 
Balingu yarabasene, yagada basanda yarabas, shagada basende lebos, baringa da basende lebos. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we are afraid, and we have taken time. Lastly, may the strange spirit of anger never succeed to operate in my life. In the name of Jesus, you know, it is anger that makes people destroy what they are supposed to manage. Anger is what makes you destroy what you are supposed to manage. Are you sad? May the strange spirit of anger and me be no oluwa majeko majo by delay me chair. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray against the strange spirit of anger. Where's the usher here? Begin to pray against the strange spirit of anger. Le gada barabas basin de lebosh. I rebuke you from my life. You will not succeed to destroy my marriage in the name of Jesus. You spirit of anger, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Father, we thank you. We've prayed all these prayers over our marriages. Lord, I pray that you will help us. None of us will experience divorce. Every one of us will be happy in our marriage. The joy of the Lord shall be in our marriage on every side in Jesus' name. We cover the young ones with the blood of Jesus. No marital error of any kind, O oh God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name of prayer.